done. She said so good, so good. you guys know that this is part one of the vlog I know you guys can tell by the title but I did not mention that in the video so I wanted to let you guys know that and I'm basically vlogging like our morning and then vlog number two is a collab with my girl Lala um, go check out her channel as well um, we will be doing a collab tomorrow and it's gonna be part two for the weekend vlog so be sure to go check out her channel as well and that video will be up tomorrow at 12 p.m eastern standard time so enjoy the rest of the vlog bye yeah. we learned i don't know my, how to in, write a check because we learned granny. in um mm -hmm. in my one of my marketing classes mm -hmm. we learned how to do that mm -hmm.
She said good. Oh, I hope the camera picked that up. I talk too much. Shut up. Talking about me. I'm not the only one. I, she look over here at me like I don't. She said so good, so good. Yeah, Amari. Amari said so good. So good. So good. So good. in the oven. <gasps> That's her favorite thing to do, is be nosy. <laughs> and I figured, what just say? Um, hey, my mommy speaker. 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 Hey, my <laughs> She's like, I want you to dance again. And then you know, Coco used to sing, um, what she used to say, Coco, Coco, and then she was like, you know, she was like, you know, she was like, because she get that from me, I love you, Nikki, too. Take her and slide up across the couch while she's dancing. Yeah. Talking about pimple popping, Deja has the itis. <laughs> She's got the itis, mommy. Uh oh, I'm recording you. 
need it, Mom. You put cheese in your bricks. Deja! Nikki, look, I need it. You know she threw. But I used to, um... Did you get those? She don't like them high straws, like I said. She, she do like, like to drink out straws, but, she like you know. See how she did her mouth. Extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. It went down when she, um, doing girls on the run. Ellie! What's her name? Ellie! 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 <laughs> yeah, my sister. I thought this was a person sitting right here. It's my sister's Nobody want no hot dogs. Okay. <laughs> Think the Pampers that I get is over here. Mary was size five, but she gets squatters. Oh wow. This is the real box. It's the real thing. See if we can get that. Yeah. <clears throat> Poor Amari, she's so sleepy. But we're gonna leave immediately. Yeah. It is so freaking. Hot! Oh my god, it's so hot. And then look at Amari, she sleep. Bruh. <laughs> she slept through the whole store. And we're going back home. I don't know what else we're going to do today um, with my family. Um, we're taking naps right now, so. <sighs> like, she, she's fighting for that sleep. She's going to sleep. But she stayed up after 12 last night and she woke up like at eight, so. Guys! My face is so much darker than my neck. I need some color right here, ASAP. You guys? Okay, this is probably really close to the air. Okay, so what I wanted to say was like, do you guys ever feel like when you see like homeless people on the side of the road, like do you ever like feel extremely emotional? I know when I was younger, I used to see homeless people on the road all the time, but um, I, wa I did watch a video when there was someone um, who was impersonating um, as to being homeless and I just feel so bad because like I don't have like I don't carry cash the point is like I feel bad when I don't have money 
to give to people because I feel like maybe that's when they really need it. And then I feel like when I do have money, then, you know, maybe they do need it, but, you know, it just makes me second guess some things after watching these videos of people who do that for a living, you know? And it just makes me feel sad because they have kids out there with them. You know, there's kids standing out there with them and they have these homeless, you know, posters up and just makes you like, you know, three kids, three babies. Like, it just makes you sad. And, you know, here where I live, it's like they have shelters, they have, you know, where you can get rental assistance and stuff. They have those places, but it's like a certain number, you know, it's only a certain amount of people they allow to do it and then they cut it off. And then after that, you know, there's no room for the people that really need it. And then it's like, you know, when you get assistance, you know, if you're able to, you know, work harder, you know, try to get off assistance so that you can help um, make room for the people who really need it, the people who are really working and trying to do for their kids and they're not, you know, able to. So, you know, it's, it's sad, like, it's sad. And I just pray. I pray that those kids get sheltered. Hey everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed part one of the vlog. Be sure to catch part two of the vlog. And it is in collaboration with my friend Lala here on YouTube. The video will be going up tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So don't forget to check it out. Also, there's a lot of things going on in this video. My sister is doing my eyebrows and they're doing my hair and we're doing a little bit of window shopping. So be sure to stay tuned for that video tomorrow. And as always, I love you guys and I hope you guys have a wonderful night.